Hey Bladers, are you looking for the best Beyblade Stadium and wondering what Beyblade Stadium should I get? Let's find out in Beyblade Stadium Worth It. Here's our first Beyblade Stadium from the Burst Evolution Battle Set. It is pretty standard in terms of what it offers. It has guards around all of the edges to prevent the bursts from leaving the stadium. Here we have a big Beyblade Stadium from Toy Mecha Decagon. As you can see, it's very strong and rigid. It has walls around the stadium. It also is one of our contenders for turning into a real life Beyblade anime stadium in a future video. This one is from Hasbro's Beyblade Burst Rise Hypersphere set. Features a lot of the same plastic that we see. This one has a unique feature where it's two staged and the Beyblade can climb up, making it a good Beyblade attack stadium. Our last one here is from the Evolution Switch Strike Battle Tower set. This one's a little more unique. It's multi-level. It also has a mechanism where you can keep score on both sides. One side is designed for two players and the other side is designed for four players. So there you have it. These are the four that we'll be looking at today. Which Beyblade Battle Stadium is the most worth it? In this video, we will be covering price, size, and quality. Please like and share this video and remember to subscribe. First, let's talk price. How expensive are they? So let's check out Amazon and see how much these are. Looking through these listings, there are many for around the $35 range. They definitely fluctuate. The ones that we have are $35, you can see there from the Burst Rise. The Battle Tower is at $39. Wow, there's a cheap one there for $8. It's flat, really basic. And then the $35 Burst Evolution one we featured earlier. Now you're probably noticing that a lot of these Beyblade Battle Stadiums come with two Beyblades and launchers. This is the new Beyblade Burst Pro Series Elite that we're looking at here. It closely resembles one of the Takara Tomy Beyblade Stadiums. It does come with two Beyblades with metal in the edges, which makes it more popular choice nowadays. Now let's go ahead and look at the Toy Mecha Decagon Stadium that we featured earlier. Now this is one of the biggest stadiums available on the market. It's probably popping in and out of stock on Amazon. As you can see here, it is a single piece of hard plastic. It is durable, it's big size, and it's bigger than all of the Hasbro Beyblade stadiums that are available. Now I think this Beyblade stadium is actually in stock on eBay. It is about $65, and it's actually what I paid for on Amazon. So if you're looking for one right now, this is a good option. So out of the four that we reviewed, the Burst Evolution Stadium wins it on price. In our second category, we will cover size and how many simultaneous players it can support. This Beyblade Burst Rise Hypersphere Climb Stadium supports about two to three players. We launched two Beyblades here. You can see that it doesn't usually make its way up to the upper tier, but when it does work, this Beyblade Stadium is a good choice for attacks where the Beyblades go up and down. In the Burst Evolution Beyblade Stadium, it's really one of the more common ones that you usually see. It's flat, it has a good amount of surface area for launching Beyblades. We launched a few in here, up to four. I think it's a good fit for about two to three players. Four is probably cutting it into its upper tier maximum. Might be a little too much action going on. Now on to the Battle Tower. It has an epic name, but it usually doesn't live up to its hype. You can see here that it supports two players on the two player side. There isn't much stadium surface area in the middle. Once you launch it, the Beyblades usually just collide right away. It's really difficult to see through some of these uh, stadium areas. The four player side, same thing. You launch the Beyblades, they collide in the middle. We really don't use this one. It sounds more epic than it really is. Here is the Toy Mecha Decagon, the biggest Beyblade stadium you can buy right now. It supports about 
four plus players. I would probably say six. Depending on the size of the players, you can probably fit everyone together. We kept launching Beyblades to give you a sense of how big this thing is. We feature this stadium as part of a Battle Royale series. We're considering turning this one into a real life Beyblade anime stadium using a vinyl decal to give it a better look and feel just to help with the overall vibes when we battle as part of a Battle Royale series. Stay tuned for that one as part of our next video. Now you can see all four stadiums here. Each one is a little bit different. Some with guardrails, some with guardrail walls. Some Beyblade stadiums have different features. It just depends on what you're looking for. I would say you can really go with any one of these except for the battle tower. Um, if you're looking for more space, go with the bigger one. Here's a quick recap of the stadiums we reviewed. As you can see here, it shows the number of players supported across each one of them. And it's no surprise that the Toy Mecha Decagon Stadium wins the category of size. Now in our last category, let's talk quality. How well do these hold up? You can see here in the Toy Mecha Decagon Stadium, this is again, probably the most durable one, a single piece of plastic that you really can't break or damage, to be honest with you. You can scratch it up and scuff it up a little bit, but that just about happens with every Beyblade Stadium. The Battle Tower one does have a heavier duty plastic feel to it. We just don't like the overall design. This certainly feels like it holds up well over time, if it's actually being used. Now onto the Burst Rise Stadium. This plastic is similar to all the other the Hasbro Beyblade Stadiums. It has the plastic locking mechanisms around the edges. If you don't lose them, you're probably okay. You know, but um, you know, commonly those may break. We lost the plastic locking mechanism for this first evolution one. Well, you may have guessed it, the Toy Mecha Decagon one wins it on quality. So let's recap the categories. So Burst Evolution wins on price, but there are cheaper ones available on Amazon that work just fine. On size, the Toy Mecha Decagon, as well as on quality, it definitely feels the most durable and lasts for many years. It's a good candidate to convert into an anime Beyblade Stadium as well. So which Beyblade Stadium is the most worth it? Who is the winner today? Between all these options, there's so many available to choose from. Whether you want to bundle it with Beyblades or just pick one that is the most durable. Now, I would choose between the new Beyblade Burst Pro series and the Toy Mecha Decagon. And our winner is, of course, the Toy Mecha Decagon Stadium. It feels like it will last forever and you really can't go wrong with this one. It is on the pricey side, but it is well worth it. Thanks for watching Bladers, please subscribe and like this video, stay tuned for the next one. Remember, always spin to win!